Hi everyone, Marine here for a new Learn Fun video. Thank you so much for stopping by. For today's card, I knew right away that I wanted to make a Tada diorama with the new heart window add-on, but I wasn't sure about which image to use, so I went through my stamp set collection, and when I came across those cute swans, I thought they are perfect to go in my diorama. And I barely used them since they were released a few years ago, so it was nice to bring them back. So from Swan Soiree, I picked the swans, the cattails, the flower crown, the grass, the water lilies and my greeting. Next we have Totally Awesome for more water lilies. Would you be mine and so damn much for more cattails and some grass. Porcupine for you for the hearts. We have the Tada Diorama die set and the hillside inserts. The Tada Diorama Heart Window Add-on, one of the stitched hillside border dies, a simple wavy banner die, and a handle piece die from the double slider surprise die set. So I started off by cutting all the pieces I needed to build my diorama. I have two main panels, one for the front that I cut out of wood grain cardstock and one for the back that I cut out of wet sewing on pattern paper and I also have a partial piece that I cut out of a spiffy speckles paper and I will turn it into a pond. I have two side panels that I cut out of a fruit salad pattern paper, two hillside insert pieces out of the same blue spiffy speckles paper as before and finally two bands and the color doesn't matter because they will be hidden. So we are keeping those pieces and we are going to work on the front of the diorama. First I am going to cut a heart window out of the wood grain panel. I am just eyeballing it and adding washi tape to keep the die in place. And then a run through my die cutting machine to cut that heart window. Next, I am going to cut a hillside border out of the partial piece I showed you at the beginning. This hillside will go on the front of my card and will make a nice pond for one of the swans. Now about the bands. They both have a score line on each end. So I am first going to fold those score lines. This will create a small tab on each side and I am going to add double-sided tape on those small tabs. Now let's take one of those bands and remove the backing papers. And let's flip our heart window panel over. I am folding each small tab behind and I am going to align the notch on the band with the notch on the panel, just like that. Next, we do the same with the second band, removing the backing papers folding the small tabs behind and again aligning the notch on the band with the notch on the panel and for both bands I am also making sure that they are not peeking out of the heart window. And to complete the front of my diorama I am just going to stick the hillside I cut before at the bottom using liquid glue. Now let's work on the side panels. They both have two score lines so we are going to fold those lines first and this will create three different sections on each panel. For the next step, I like to place my panels in a symmetrical way, just like that, with the large sections on the right and on the left and about the slot dies, the one with the foot on the right will go on the right panel and the one with the foot on the left will go on the left panel and the dies go between the two score lines and need to be lined up with the bottom edge, just like that. As always, I am using washi tape to keep my die in place. And I am doing the same on the left panel. I am lining the die between the score lines and with the bottom edge. A couple of washi tape pieces to keep everything in place. And then a quick run through my die cutting machine to cut the slots. Now let's add some double-sided tape on each slim section of the panels and we are going to attach them on the wet sewing on panel 
we fold the panel in half and we align it with the left edge of the back panel and we fold the other panel in half as well and we're going to stick it right up against the panel we just attached and this way we get a first glance at what the diorama will look like now we are going to add the heel sides those insert pieces have four tiny tabs on each corner so first we need to fold those tabs and then we can put each end of the heel sides into the slots and once we are on the other side we can unfold the tabs so now the last thing to do is to add the front of the diorama we put the left panel into the left sleeve and then the right panel into the other sleeve and the base of our diorama is done I always like to add handles on both sides but we will do that at the end because now it's time to color some images as always I stamp them using Lanfan Jet Black ink and cut them all using the coordinating dies and I am going to color everything using my alcohol markers
So now let's attach our cute images inside the diorama. I am first attaching some cattails directly on the background using one millimeter from squares. Next, I will stick the images on the hillsides using liquid glue and I will finish with the front of the diorama.
So now let's add some sparkles to the hearts. And next uh, we will stamp our greeting. So I die cut a wavy banner and I put it right away back on its negative spot. I placed my stamp on the diagonal and I am going to play with the ends to bend the stamp and make it follow the shape of the banner. So now it looks good to me. I am going to rub my powder bag on the paper to make it anti-static. Now I can stamp my greeting using an Anfon clear embossing ink. I am adding white embossing powder on the ink. And then I am melting and setting the powder. So now let's attach the banner above the heart window. And next we are going to add handles on both sides of the diorama. This step is totally optional, but it adds an extra decorative touch that I like very much. The final step was to attach the diorama to a card base and it was complete, all done. And we end up with a lovely little scene, super sweet and cute. I hope that you like it. Thank you so much for watching this video. Have a very nice day and see you on the next one. Bye.